All right, Ted, thank you. Turning now to total money, the Maine legislature enacted a plan to offer free community college to students impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, if you or someone you know is planning to take advantage of this, there are a few costs that you need to keep in mind and budget for. We are joined now live by Jen Berg from the Maine Credit Union League. So Jen, tell us, uh, earlier this week, we heard that applications to schools in Maine's community college system are up from where they were a year ago. So a sign that people are taking advantage of this program but who is it and, and how can they benefit? Yeah, I mean, what a fantastic program to be offering uh, to, to Maine students. If you graduated between 2020 and 2023, you can qualify for this free community college program. It will cover the costs of tuition and associated fees. You have to be enrolled in a two-year degree program, uh, but it's just a great opportunity for kids to get enrolled in those classes and pursue their degrees and, and help build up our workforce. So as you said, you know, community college applications are up. That's a good sign. Can't blame folks for wanting to take advantage of it because community college costs approximately $3,700 a year. So this is a good cost savings for a lot of Mainers. There are some fees that they will need to budget for. Um, tuition is certainly a big one, and that's the benefit of this program. But if you are going to take advantage of the program, make sure you do some serious budgeting so that you can cover those additional fees as you get started and, and head to school in the fall or even in the spring. So what about books? Uh, is, is that covered in this program? It is not, and books are significant. The community college system estimates that books cost approximately $1,400 a year. That's not a small chunk of change, but there are some ways if you're going into community college this fall, next spring, or even the following year, to save some money. You know, consider purchasing used textbooks. A lot of um, colleges will have um, book exchanges on campus. You know, buy a used book if you're able to, or perhaps even an older edition. You know, some things don't change year to year in books, so you know, you can check with your professor, but that can save you some money. And then once you're done the class, sell the book back or sell it to another student so you can recoup some of those funds. You can also rent textbooks and that will save some money. And then, you know, there's the, the library. Don't forget all the great resources that are available to students in a library. So you might be able to um, utilize books by going to your college library or even sharing with another student. And also, um, if they haven't already started looking for scholarships, see if you can find a scholarship that could be used toward that. Scholarships.com breaks down uh, different scholarships that are available to students and does it by state. So it would be easy for Maine students to kind of see what's out there and what they might qualify for. But books are a really big expense and it's something they need to plan for. All right, Jen Berg from Maine Credit Union League. Unfortunately, we need we do need to wrap here, but really important factors, not only to take advantage of this credit, but to also budget for the additional things, transportation, all that stuff, Absolutely. and books as well. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you, Megan. All right, Jen, thanks. Histor